Income tax 2021-2022, software examples, social security benefits. Get ready to get refunds to the max. Dive it into income tax 2021-2022. Here we are in our Lesser Tax software. You don't need access to tax software to follow along. However, you might want to have the Form 1040, which you can find on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Our starting scenario is going to be our single filer, Adam Smith, living in Beverly Hills, 90210. And instead of having the W-2 income, we're going to say that there's going to be that starting 100000 from the pensions. We're going to say that they're past the working years at this point in time that therefore we're going to have the increase in terms of the standard deduction here so it, it's at the 14 250 instead of the 12 550 which we can mirror on our worksheet by saying it's going to be equal to the standard deduction plus we have this adjustment for the 1007 bringing it up to the 14 250 that gives us a taxable income of the 85 750 85 750 here the tax then being calculated on page two which is going to be that 14 uh, 619 so we got the 14 619 14619 on <clears throat> page two so now let's imagine that we've got a, a 1099 for the social security that we're receiving pretty straightforward for the data input for it and so we're gonna we're gonna go on down here in line six and we're gonna say okay data input social security for the taxpayer obviously if they were married we could have the spouse as well with the benefits let's put it in at like six thousand on the benefits here so i'm going to bring it back on over to the form and you can see on 6a we've got the six thousand and on 6b we've got the five thousand one hundred now that of course because they're they have the other income which is you know high one hundred thousand they're getting taxed at the max of the social security benefits which is 85 percent so we're taking in other words the 5100 divided by the 6000 we're at the 85 percent so if we were to see that then on the tax worksheet we can mirror that and say we got the income from social security i'm going to add this then to <clears throat> my worksheet over here for the other income items on the first page of the form 1040 i'm going to add some room i'm going to put some cells above this one selecting these cells and right click and insert i'm going to call this social security and then underneath that i'm going to give it a little bit of room because you might have you know at least the married couple could have have two things that would be involved there i'll leave a little bit more room just because i don't know exactly why and then we're going to have this here now you could calculate it to estimate the calculation at the, it was what did i say six thousand times the 0.85 and then sum it up in the total down here total and just basically have that 85 percent in mind you can make your formula a little bit more fancy you might put the max up here at the 0.85 obviously if they're not at the max then you might be a little bit more dependent on the software to do the calculation unless you want to basically you know double check that calculation in the event that it's under the max uh, in your excel worksheet you can get a little detail in there we'll talk more about that in a second I'm going to delete some of these add added uh, rows, deleting them, and then if I sum it up, I'm going to pull the sum down to add my other cells. So we're at the 105 100. If I go back to the first tab, then we've got the 105 100. Now, also note when you do that data input, it it might be nice to actually have two columns here to put the 6,000 in and and then multiply times the 85% or whatever percent so that you can then tie it out to the to the forms the 1099 if you were to double check it or review it at some later point you want to make it as transparent as possible so that you can kind of confirm what uh, what you're doing that's going to be the idea but we're at the 105 100 going back to the first tab there it is the 105 100 standard deduction at the 14 250 we've got the taxable income at the 90,850 90,850 matching the bottom line taxable income on the tax return page two also note that i am looking at the form 1040 although i'm assuming they're in the retirement years and that's why we had that added deduction so you might be using the 1040 sr in that event uh, but the 1040 you know is the format we're used to seeing this items in so there's the 15831 so here's the 15831 15831 will depend on the software to do that calculation 
So if we go back on over, so fairly straightforward. If they were married, then you could have two of the two items that would be involved. Now let's just take a look at adjusting this income level, which will adjust the threshold. And then we can look at the calculation and how they're determining the calculation. So let's go back on over and I'm gonna adjust their income. And let's say this, not that income. We're gonna go to the pension income. Let's bring this down to like 20,000. If we go to 20,000, back on over to the forms and now we've got something less than the 85 percent hold on a second it's still saying hundred thousand i wanted to make the taxable amount twenty thousand too <laughs> both sides twenty thousand okay so there we have it so now you can see the because we lowered the income it's now none of it's being taxable so it's just a reporting item on 6a now you could get into the worksheet here and try to basically think about where the thresholds are uh, for how much is gonna be taxable and the amount that will be taxable. But typically when you're talking to people, it's useful to say, well, up to 85% it's gonna be taxable, you know, as your income goes up in general, as a general rule. Let's just adjust the income a little bit. Let's bring it up a bit here. And it's a fairly low threshold. If I bring it up to 25%, for example, now you've got the 6,000 total. I didn't change the social security, just the income from other sources, the pension to the 25. And now you've got 1,500 of it that is gonna be taxable. So, you know, fairly low other income threshold that it starts to be taxable. If we move it up then to 30,000 and 30,000 and go back on over now we've got half of it being taxable here at the 6,000, the social security, half of it being taxable. We bring it up to 40, let's say 40,000, 40,000, and go back on over to the forms. And now we've got the 6,000 and the 1,005, and that's at the 5100 divided by the 6,000, the 85% again. So that's why in, in general, you, you, the general answer would be, well, is social security benefits taxable? Well, if, it's, if your income is lower, then you, it's not all gonna be taxable and you might have none of it taxable, but if fairly low threshold, if your income goes up, then it's gonna be taxed at the cap of the 85%. And again, if you wanted to dive into a more detail, you could take a look at the detail of the worksheets to determine uh, a more detail about those thresholds here. So that's the general idea with the social security.